Welcome training campers. In today's video, you will learn how to use a Trances Electronic Chart Display and Information System, ECLIS. This is a Trances Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Module Number 1. The Trances Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Training Module Number 1, covers the user interface. This topic is about the user interface. It explains the fundamental design feature of each ECLIS and may differ significantly between different manufacturers. The following subtopics included are as follows. The ECLIS operating philosophy. The startup and shutdown of the ECLIS. The interface devices and their uses. And lastly, the alerts management. On the next slide is a video clip that discusses the Trances Navi Sailor 4000 ECLIS user interface. Module 1. User Interface The User Interface Actis Layout The Actis is operated by the Control Panel Chart Panel Bar Conning Panel Functional Panel Pages and tabs. All functional panels can be accessed via the task list. Arrangements Similar to a card index system, tabs are used to switch between panels and pages. The tabs for switching between panels are located in the tab panel area. The tabs for switching between pages are located at the top of each panel. Panels contain essential data and functions which control the actus. Extensive panels are divided into pages that correspond with the task of the panel. Confirming. Often you must type data into text boxes. Sometimes you must apply the typed data. Therefore, you can use the Apply button, or you can activate the Apply window with the right trackball or mouse button. Mostly, you can also confirm your input with the Enter key from the keyboard. External Keyboard An external keyboard is necessary to input alphanumeric data. Trackball Most Actis will have a trackball unit, which serves as a pointer or cursor on the screen. It has two left buttons, one on each side of the trackball one right button, and an optional scroll wheel. Note, generally, the terms click or select mean the standard mouse operation left click. A right click will always be specified. Virtual Keyboard This training is not intended for use with a virtual keyboard. However, this function might be available in your system on board. Control Panel Windows Important data and control tools are arranged in the Control Panel. The control panel consists of several windows. Each window either displays operational information or contains the most frequently used task controls. Windows are divided graphically with special lines. Some windows can be moved by dragging them or by double-clicking on the window area. To return the window to its original position, 
drag it back, or click the X button. Multi display panel window for operational tasks. The Actis control panel has a multi display panel window to serve different panels for operational tasks. You can select different display panels from the pull down list, which open by clicking the button with the name of the currently set panel. Tool tips. By moving the cursor over an element of the interface, a small box containing some brief information will appear. You can find tooltips mostly by moving over buttons with important functions. Tooltips on alerts. Move the cursor over the alerts list to obtain a more detailed tooltip. Help button. The software provides a help feature to obtain guidance on the operation of the equipment. It can be accessed via the help function from config task under the tab general. The window displays the contents of the complete manual. Alternatively, you can use index for a keyword search or search for a list of topics containing your keyword. Navi Planner Help While using the Navi Planner software for chart maintenance, the Navi Planner help function can be used. Open the main menu and select Help to access the help window. The window displays the contents of the manual sorted by chapter. You can also select the tab Index for a keyword search or the Search window for a list of topics containing your keyword. Part of INS An integrated navigation system, or INS, includes several workstations for performing different tasks. The NaviSailor can be part of such a system, using the multifunctional display. It can be used as a workstation for route monitoring or route planning tasks. Standalone. If the software is not a multifunctional display as part of an integrated navigation system, INS, it can be used as a standalone Ectus. This should still include two Ectus workstations connected by local area network, LAN, to cover backup requirements if the vessel is fully Ectus. Start up and shut down of it. Start workstation. Each workstation starts by clicking the on off button on the console. The Transis integrator window will be loaded. To turn on the Ectus task from the Transis integrator utility, Click the Ectus button. While the Ectus task is loading, the initializing window will be displayed. After loading the program, the Ectus task screen will appear.
Protection Key Dongle A dongle is a system protection key. A protection key is a special device that determines the right of authorised use of Transus Marine navigation systems. The dongle should be connected to the computer at all times when the navigation system operates. The systems are supplied with Line Print Terminal, LPT, or USB dongles. Dongle installation. After the computer has been mounted securely in its place, the dongle must be connected to the computer's printer port or the USB, marked dongle. The dongle should be connected to the printer port or the USB before the software installation. The system will not operate unless the dongle is connected to the computer. Dongleless protection. When working with dongleless protection, the role of a hardware dongle is substituted by a special set of binary data stored in the registry activation code. The activation code is associated with unique characteristics of a particular user computer. The activation code cannot be used on other computers. Note. When using dongleless protection, the available activation code cannot be used if the computer configuration has been changed. For example, faulty parts replaced, software reinstalled, etc. It's then necessary to notify Transus via the distributor to obtain a new activation code. Stop Ectus task. Use the button on the config panel, which is on the general page. Click the exit button. Then confirm shutdown when asked. Shutdown workstation. To shut down the workstation, click the halt system button and confirm shutdown when asked. Default settings. After starting the Ectus, the following default settings will be shown. North arrow. Scale bar on the left hand side. Own ship vector. The tabs main, dual, and tasks list. Orange angle. Chart scale. Control panel. True Motion Mode System Information Display Alerts Window The Alerts Window is located at the top of the screen, beside the Control Panel. It displays the alarms, warnings, and cautions. Navigational information. The control panel displays various navigational information, including heading, speed through water, course over ground, speed over ground, UTC or local time, current position, chart information. Chart panel bar.
In the vertical bar between Chart Panel and Control Panel, you have quick access to make adjustments. This bar is called the Chart Panel Bar. Display and access to the buttons in the Chart Panel Bar are closely related to the Chart Modes, Main and Dual. Chart Panel Bar Icons, Main Panel You will find the following quick access buttons in the Main Panel. Ahead Move Ship Symbol North Up, Head Up, Course Up True Motion, Relative Motion Zoom In Zoom out. Original scale. Info. Hydrographic chart raster format review. If raster charts are available. Quick distance tool. Show chart. Transas integrator. Color palette. User Configurations Man Overboard Activate Hand Cursor Activate View Cursor Activate ERBL Cursor Activate Zoom Cursor Chart Panel Bar Icons Dual Panel For Dual Panel, the following buttons are available. Ahead Move Ship Symbol North Up, Head Up, Course Up True Motion, Relative Motion Zoom In Zoom Out Original Scale Auto Zoom Tile Horizontal Tile Split Docking Mode History of the Docking Mode Screen Layout for Widescreen Display CID On the left-hand side of the chart area, the conning panel can be made visible by using the Show or Hide symbol on the bottom left. Click one more time to hide it again. On 27-inch widescreen displays, the conning panel is shown on the left side as a default setting. You can choose from the following tabs. Instruments, Route, and Docking. Free Cursor. With the cursor, it is possible to work directly in the chart area. The Free Cursor which can be moved over the entire screen using the trackball or mouse, has various forms in different ECTIS task areas. You can switch between the three main functionalities with a right-click. 1. The View Cursor to display information when positioned on an object. 2. The ERBL Cursor to turn on the ERBL function. Three, the zoom cursor for activating the zoom function.
In the functional panel areas, the cursor has the form of an arrow and operates as a standard window cursor. Graphic cursor type The graphic cursor is used during the operation of many ECTIS task functions and represents the intersection of lines corresponding to the latitude and longitude of the given point. The two types of graphic cursor are short, the cursor is shown in the form of a small cross, long, the cursor is shown in the form of an intersection of two lines across the entire chart panel. To change the graphic cursor type, select Config from the Tasks list, General tab, and select Short or Long from the Chart Panel Cursor window. Info Cursor The Info Cursor appears when the Standard View Cursor is positioned on a lighthouse or another lighted buoy on the chart. Click to show the object data card. Acquisition Cursor The Acquisition Cursor appears when you click the Info button from the Chart Panel Bar. Click on the necessary object to open the Info Panel, and the cursor assumes the standard Info Cursor. Dual Mode When the Chart Display Panel is set to Dual, other cursor types are available. The ERBL Cursor and the Ship Cursor. Information Windows When a special cursor has been activated, an information window simultaneously appears on the lower right side. The window shows information about the geographical positioning of the cursor, including bearing, opposite bearing, range, and other information. Buttons. With the buttons you can activate functions. If a button is highlighted, the operation of the function is activated. Therefore you can see which mode is enabled at a glance. You can also select sources, charts and scales with the corresponding buttons. Buttons of important functions are placed in the control panel bar and the chart panel bar. If a button is grey, it's disabled and you cannot use it. The operation of the corresponding function is not available. Text boxes in NaviSailor 4000, input fields are used as text boxes. There are several types of text boxes. Text boxes with different size to type in data and dates. Text boxes for names. Text boxes for unlimited information, for example, info field manual corrections. Text boxes to name layers. Save button after new input. Text boxes. Text boxes are used to enter values or names. Names are entered with the keyboard. Data can be entered with the keyboard 
or by using the trackball. If you move the trackball in the vertical direction, you quickly change the data in the text box. However, if you move the trackball in the horizontal direction, it results in a much slower change. In some text boxes, you must click the left trackball button to accept the entered value. In other boxes, you have to apply the input. Checkboxes Another option to select a function is to activate a checkbox. Checkboxes help to select filters. On the Tasks List menu, you select Panels by checkboxes. Drop-down List box menu You can choose a display or function from a drop-down list. Click on the arrow button to open the List box menu. You can select the name of an entry from the List box menu. The selected entry is shown on the button after the menu is closed. Radio button selection list With radio buttons, you can select a function from an offered set. Alerts window. All types of alerts are displayed in the alerts window located in the top part of the Ectus task screen to the right of the heading speed through water course over ground speed over ground window. Indications window. Indications are displayed in the Indications window on the control panel. Indications show regular information and conditions and are not part of alert management. A new indication is shown by a message symbol. Click the button to show the list. The following indications are implemented in the system. Default safety contour and no ENC available. Important Indications Important Indications highlight operational status information which needs special attention. This can be displayed in different places on the Ectus task screen. Important Indications related to the chart information are displayed in the top left corner of the chart panel in black against a yellow background. Notifications Notifications are used to inform the user of an event which is not directly related to navigation and not regulated by standards. Notifications are displayed in the top right corner of the chart panel. Display of alerts. The three types of alert are presented in the alert buttons. Alarms, high priority alert, condition requiring immediate attention and action by the bridge team to maintain the safe navigation of the ship. Warnings, condition requiring immediate attention but no immediate action by the bridge team. Warnings are presented for precautionary reasons, but may become dangerous if no action is taken. Cautions, lowest priority of alert, condition which does not warrant an alarm or warning, but still requires attention.
alarms are associated with a sound signal, three beeps every seven seconds. Warnings are associated with a sound signal, two beeps every five minutes. Alarms icons. Alarm icons are represented as indicated below. Active unacknowledged alarm. Triangle with loudspeaker flashing red. Active silenced alarm. Triangle with crossed out speaker flashing red. Rectified unacknowledged alarm. Triangle with check mark flashing red. Active acknowledged alarm. Triangle with an exclamation mark highlighted red. Warning icons. Warning icons are represented as indicated below. Active unacknowledged warning. Circle with a loudspeaker flashing orange. Active silenced warning. Circle with a crossed out loudspeaker flashing orange. Rectified unacknowledged warning. Circle with a check mark flashing orange. Active acknowledged warning, circle with an exclamation mark, highlighted orange. Caution icons. Cautions always active state. Square with an exclamation mark, highlighted yellow. Alert lists. Click on the alert button to open a pull-down list of alerts. At the beginning of the list, there are active, unacknowledged alerts arranged in the ascending order of age. If the alert is unacknowledged, the name of its source is blinking. The age of the alert is specified to the right of the alert. The second half of the list contains active acknowledged alerts. Alerts in this part of the list are sorted by their acknowledgement time. The most recently acknowledged alert is placed at the very top. Alert name. The alert name is preceded by the name of its source. The name of the alarm source is shown in red colour. The name of the warning source is shown in orange colour. The name of the caution source is shown in yellow colour. Alert group. When two or more alerts belonging to the same group are generated, they are combined into one group name. Click on the plus sign to display the list of alerts included in the group. Positioning the free cursor on the alert name in the list displays a hint showing the detailed alert name. Alert Acknowledgement There are two types of alert acknowledgement. Silencing, acknowledgement of the alert's audible sound. Acknowledgement, acknowledgement of the visual announcement. Acknowledgement via keyboard. Click the Alarm button on the keyboard. 
the most recently generated alarm will be acknowledged. By pressing successively the alarm button, all the alarms can be acknowledged in the reverse order to which they were generated. Acknowledgement via Alert List Click the Alarms and Warnings buttons on the control panel and click the alert from the pull-down list of alarms or warnings. Safety Alerts Chart objects are identified by the ECTUS as dangers to navigation by certain parameters, such as safety parameters. Example, safety contour. Alert settings and options are adjusted in the safety alerts page of the monitoring panel. The main means of determining the safety alerts operation is the safety frame. Dangerous objects entering the safety frame will generate a relevant alert. Generation of safety alerts Safety alerts are generated for the following chart objects. Dangers to navigation. If NAV hazard radio button is activated, the navigational hazard caution will be generated. If highlight danger radio button is activated, the navigation danger will be highlighted on the chart. Safety contours. If the safety contour radio button is activated, the crossing safety contour alarm will be generated. Area type objects. If activated under the Area Alerts group, divided to IMO areas and additional areas. Navigational Alert Navigational Alerts are intended for alerting the navigator to the change of ownership and chart information display conditions. If the user set value of difference between the positioning system readings is exceeded, provided the primary secondary diverged radio button is activated, the position monitor caution is generated. Navigational alert, sounder depth. Sounder depth is a set minimum depth which the sounder depth alarm will be generated if a shallower depth is received from the sounder. Navigational alert, anchor watch. A warning will be generated if the ship moves beyond the anchor rings. See Topic 915, Anchoring Display, for the details. Route Alerts Route alerts are generated during sailing if the ship has exceeded the boundary of a set limit. The alert is generated according to the following principles. If the ship's course over ground deviates from the plotted ship's course by a value exceeding the setting in the off-leg course input window, the course difference caution will be generated. If the ship's deviation from the root leg exceeds the set value, the off-track alarm will be generated. If the ship's schedule is not observed, ahead the schedule or behind the schedule warning will be generated. 
As the ship approaches the next waypoint, the approach to critical point warning will be generated upon approach to the wheel over line at the advance time or distance set by the user. As the ship passes the last waypoint on the monitored route, the end of track warning is generated. The aforementioned alerts are enabled and their parameters are set on the route monitoring page of monitoring panel. Sensor alerts, position sensor. Sensor alerts indicate an absence of data from external sensors. Sensor alerts will only be generated if data is absent from a connected sensor which has been selected by the user as a data source. Example of position sensor alerts. Warnings for a position sensor selected for primary positioning and cautions for a position sensor selected for secondary positioning. If there's more than one of such warnings or cautions, they're combined in a position failure group. Position, no input. Position, course over ground, speed over ground, no data. Sensor alerts, main sensor. Warnings are generated for sensors which have been selected as the main sensor. If there are more than one of such warnings, they're combined into a sensor failure group. Example, gyro no data, gyro no input. Sensor alerts, backup sensors. Portions are generated for sensors which have been selected for as supplementary position sensor. If there are more than one of such cautions, they're combined in an auxiliary sensor failure group. Example. Position, course over ground, speed over ground, no data. Position, no input. Sensor alerts, auxiliary sensors. Cautions are generated for the auxiliary sensors which are not directly related to the navigation. Example, wind, no input. Sensor alerts, fallback. Should the primary data source fail, the backup data source will be used automatically. In this case, a caution will be generated. Example, position fallback. Thank you for watching the Transas Navi Sailor 4000 Ectus Familiarization, Module Number 1. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you will be updated. For more maritime education and training, simulation videos.